Alright guys, this is a review of the Divnik golf club and golf bag. When I bought the club, the bag came, I believe, free. I didn't purchase anything extra. This bag fits the club, which is right here. Uh, it's got the zipper in the front, which I keep my tees. Uh, so the tees I use. A brush. Um, sometimes I use it to clean it off. Uh, and uh, let's see. I keep a, oh, my divot tool as well. Granted, I'm really good enough to uh, hit the green <laughs> and put a divot in it. So that's where I keep that stuff. The bag also doubles has a fanny pack that you can wear around your waist, which I do. I don't care. Haters can hate. Um, and it holds the golf tees. You can hold like four. You can double them up and hold even more than that. So the bag also has a back pocket. I keep my rag in there, dry off my hands, or clean off the club. And in here, I keep lots of balls, because sometimes I practice with it, and I'm somewhat bad about losing balls. And I have a, the golf club, and it's collapsible. Um, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you know that. Let's see if I can get it out. There we go. So this is the club, fully collapsed. Um, I did get a monogram, but I have it taped off because I don't want you to know my name. There's the front of the club. Played a couple of games with it. Hit a whole bunch of practice balls and stuff. Kind of gives you an idea of it. Um, here's that. I'm not sure if that's supposed to come off or not. I haven't taken it off. And on the cap end is this little, uh, like, metal plate or metal button. That way, when you go to collapse it, you can bang it and it doesn't tear up your grip. Um, it works pretty well. I uh, one time jokingly like slung the club out with it collapsed and got it stuck pretty bad, but uh, after a couple of hard hits on a concrete surface, I was able to get it um, to go back down. So this is it. I'll extend it. So there's the full length of the club. Let me move the bag out of the way. So there's the full length of the club. Um, it's got a nice grip. This is what everybody's probably interested in, is the mechanism. So I'm going to try to do this one-handed. I think I can. Um, it's very easy to use, especially once you uh, have practiced a couple of times with it. Um, probably the hardest part is reading what your... Uh, let's see if I can get it to focus. Um, you got like a little error right there. And... It, uh, that's how you determine what club you want to use. And it goes from putter all the way up to like a um, sand wedge. And you can even go higher than that. Um, there's like a full complete list of what it goes up to on the website. Um, so what you do is you just undo it like that, like one turn. Um, there's several people on YouTube. They kind of like turn it all the way out, but you only got to do one turn. And so say I wanted a seven iron, you can kind of get it close. So right there, I'm, uh, it's focus. Let's see, I might have to come out. It's almost at seven, but it's not there. It's uh, one or two clubs off, but you just, uh, there it is, there's seven. But you see how I did that? Um, you can just crank through all the clubs actually, a half club at a time, by just going through them like that. So like now I'm at, uh, like nine, and yeah, so forth. Or that's nine actually. Um, and but then, like, say you hit the nine and you hit green, you can just turn it down to putter, and that's driver. Uh, so yeah, you can just adjust it as needed. You uh, want to go underneath. So if you need three, it's always better to undershoot because then you can just slowly crank up through it, and then you just. Tighten it up, like so. And you don't have to get them very tight. And right there, I'm kind of, I'm probably like a high loft putter. That's not even a thing, but uh, I'll show you. Uh, for putting, it does have these nice little three white lines that you can line up. 
a lot of people complain about putting with this. I found it pretty easy. I did pretty well on the on the golf course. Um, some notes, um, and it's set on the website, so it shouldn't come out a surprise. Um, it has a driver setting, but um, obviously this has not got the weight behind it like a driver does. So the owner of Divnik even suggests using the four iron setting, and that's what I do to drive. I play on the forward tees. It cuts out a lot of the distance, so you're not going to be able to, you know, make the green in two from the black tees if you're using this thing, even on driver setting. You're just going to cut your loft down. Um, I use it on four and above, and of course I putt with it. I know on their website, if you have the extra money, you can buy like a collapsible putter and driver, which are the two biggest complaints with this. Like I said, I don't have a problem putting with this, um, but you definitely are not getting the distance um, driving with this because it's not a driver. Uh, another thing, um, the website, he gives basically a money back guarantee or uh, and also like a lifetime warranty. Uh, this little black lever, somehow, I don't know how, I've never heard of this on any of his website or any other reviews I read online. Um, when I first started, I was doing a lot of practice and I was terrible. Um, so I, uh, I broke this little piece. Um, this one, he sent me some two more. I just sent him an email and was like, hey man, uh, I somehow broke the black lever and he sent me two more for free. I keep one in the bag now. Um, you know, no questions. He didn't ask how, well, he did ask how, and I was like, I was just practice swinging, but I think, um, it was a slightly, just like a, whoever manufactured, uh, the lever, uh, just sent a, like, loose fitting one, because, um, the two that he sent originally to me with the club, your club comes with an extra one, um, pressed on, like, I could just, I could, like, almost pull it off with my hand, but the two new ones he sent, um, I had to basically, like, hammer on, um, but he's got a thing on his website that shows you how to do that, if you have to readjust these, has the nut breaks in, and, like, all the gears inside break in, um, so he is true to his word on the warranty, um, I enjoy this club. Probably the hardest part about it, like I said, is actually figuring out what club you're on. Um, the little black line, it, if it gets dirty or like muddy in your between your game, that's why I keep a brush on me. I can just brush it out of the way. But you get a feel for it. Um, I enjoyed it. I walked the courses. I was playing with three other randoms. They found it pretty interesting with this club. Said so I played pretty well um, for playing with one club. And they were interested in it. Um, they thought it was pretty nice. And... While they were packing their clubs around, I was just enjoying the game. So that's probably the biggest benefit. Um, I'll show you collapsing it real quick. Oh, let's see. I didn't have it fully extended, but yeah, you kind of just, yeah, just tap it down and yep, there it goes. And I have a motorcycle. I have a 1984 Goldwing, um, and this fits in the saddlebag, which is great um, for traveling. So I don't have to try to fit clubs on the back of my motorcycle somehow. Overall, I'm really happy. Like I said, this, this turns into a fanny pack if you're brave enough to wear it on the course. I was, and uh, that's that's about it. I really appreciate Divnik. I've company, and I spoke to the owner several times. He's really nice. If you have any questions, call the number. Um, the monograms are really nice as well. Um, overall, I really enjoyed the club, and I would recommend it to anybody.